test of this budget is does it deliver on the government's supposed promise that it will be a jobs budget? Does it genuinely deliver on jobs for young people? Who even before this pandemic, we saw youth unemployment at incredibly high rates, 14% or more in Western Australia. The test is does it deliver for people who are trying to retrain themselves for a job? And we know this government increased university degrees through their university reform package by $45,000, $75,000, making an arts degree three times more expensive than it was when I studied an arts degree 15 years ago. The test of this budget is double the working for families who are struggling with the costs of childcare in a system that's been disrupted month on month on month. The test for this budget doesn't actually have a to get us through this recession, the Morrison recession. Um, we know that it's based on some pretty heroic assumptions, a heroic assumption about a vaccine being available next year, an odd assumption about the WA border being in place till the 1st of April next year, and a um, completely inaccurate assumption about the iron ore price. So it is going to be interesting to see whether all of the numbers in this package actually line up together. Uh, so far from what's been leaked out, breaked out, I don't think they do.